Hi, my name is Andrew, and what I want to show you today are a few of our quartz specimens. This huge piece of quartz crystal from Australia is actually a gift um, from an Australian friend of the TGM, and it weighs around 6 kilograms. So another specimen you can see here is a quartz from Madagascar. If you move closer, you can see tiny crystals spiking out. And also you can see coloration, a brownish red that is probably colored by iron stains. And sometimes the color of quartz can be colored by inclusions as well. So this right here is the rutilated quartz from Brazil. It's a quartz slab and if you zoom in, you can actually see golden rutile, a growth like hair, and those rutile is actually titanium oxide. And more commonly, you can see it grows in needle shapes. So in Chinese term, we call it Jing Fa, Jing Fa Shi Ying. So this is one of the more collectible quartz outside, whereas there are more varieties of quartz as well. I present to you the few other varieties of quartz itself, from the colorless rock crystal quartz here, the brown smoky quartz, the pink color rose quartz and the purple amethyst. Look at this formation of rock crystal quartz. Amazing. And the pink variety of quartz, the rose quartz, however, is a very feminine pink tone to it. And for this piece, yes, very good clarity compared to the usual rose quartz. Purple amethyst perhaps one of the most popular of the quartz variety. It's made into jewelry, it's been collected, and it has a wide range of purple as well, from um, shallow purple to deep purple. People sometimes collect it with an amethyst geo. Those can be huge in size. So this is all I can show you for today. If you have any question, comment on the comment section below. Visit our website, or better yet, visit us at the museum. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.